Hi. Oh, wait. Gotta make sure my microphone is looking at me. Hi. How are you today? I'm doing good. I've been thinking about the fact that I own every single kit, which is stupid and ridiculous because I bought them all. I'm not an EA partner, obviously. So I bought all the kits and I'm like, I don't even use them. So I'm going to start like a series of sorts. It's not really a series, but I'm going to start a series of sorts where I do a build with every kit that's just the kit and the base game. Just so that like I can at least say there's a reason that I bought every single kit. So today we're going to start that with the latest kit, the Modern Lux kit. And then also we're going to do it in an apartment because for a couple reasons. One, because I feel like the Modern Lux kit is very apartment, very like 25 year old girl's first apartment. She bought all of her furniture at TJ Maxx. Like that's how I feel about that kit. And then also because soon city living apartments are going to be obsolete because soon we're going to be able to build our own apartments and that makes me sad and i don't do that many apartment builds so i'm just gonna bid city living a farewell goodbye with this build so let's get into it We're gonna do the build in this apartment, the Chic Street Apartments across from Penny Pizzazz, because I like the shape of this one. I don't want it to be too big of an apartment. I don't want it to be a big apartment at all. It's it's very much first apartment vibes. That's what we're going for, and I'm gonna bulldoze it. The way they had it was they put the bathroom here, and then the kitchen, and then one really skinny bedroom, and then one long bedroom, which was bizarre. We're just gonna do a one bedroom, but I'm thinking it's gonna be like a big, one nice big bedroom that can act as like a bedroom like slash office, because that's kind of fun for your first apartment but also oh I can't put it I was gonna put a bathroom here but I can't because like that'll split the window so I didn't really want to do it the same as they had it because I don't really like that layout but I guess I might do it anyway or we'll put the bathroom here and then yeah I guess the layout is gonna be the same let's check out what we have by the way so I took out everything except for the kit and then obviously sitting living because we have to build in city living this is the first time I've had almost nothing in my game other than the base game in like forever this did oh wait <laughs> okay never mind I thought that this kit came with a couch let me look at okay let's just let's go to everything show all this is everything that the kit came with okay so let's just place some stuff bed i love that bed very pretty mirror oh yeah this is like mostly a, okay i forgot it's been a hot minute so i forgot this was mostly like a bedroom kit a bedroom set kit but look these um curtains are kind of perfect for these windows i'm gonna be jealous Ugh. i'm gonna be jealous i'm gonna build this apartment then i'm gonna be jealous that it's not my apartment which is what always happens building in the sims is just like envy simulator because everything that's nice in this world, you don't get to have. Your Sims get to have it, but you don't get to have it. <laughs> this isn't like the layout that I'm committing to or anything. I am just placing stuff to see what we have. We got a bookshelf. Oh, I love, I really like that bookshelf. When I saw this kit, I don't know, it spoke very apartment to me and it spoke very TJ Maxx to me, which I was worried was going to come across as an insult. And it's not. I mean, like, first apartment, first of all, <laughs> it's a little like uh, subjective, right? Because like, no one no one has unless you you know have rich parents no one has this bed in their first apartment no one has a fancy portrait tv in their first apartment but like the vanity the vanity is very tj maxx the side tables are very tj maxx like that yeah that is but like the fancy bed and the fancy tv not so much but you know what i mean this decor stuff is also very tj maxx like this i don't know what that says in simlish but probably like live laugh love happiness some kind of ray dunn thing they should they should do a ray dunn kit can i use you think I could use this rug in both rooms? I don't know. I'll try it. I don't know how many swatches there are. And then see, okay, we have the chair. We have two. This chair is probably, yeah, this chair is for the vanity. And then this is like um, more of an arm chair. I am uh, concerned that there's not going to be anything in the base game that looks good with this chair, but we'll have to see. That plant will look good in the corner there. And then also probably I'll use it again. I don't usually, no, never mind. <laughs> I don't like reusing plants. It just bothers me. Oh, there's a, oh, this is a wall shelf. Okay. Then this bag and then a pillow. And then that's everything. All right. I have everything placed. It's not like in its permanent home, but just to make sure that I use everything. I thought there was going to, the bedroom, I mean, the bedroom's going to be easy, right? Because it's a bedroom kit. The living room, I feel like mixing the, I don't know. I don't build with the base game a lot. Like, and buy a lot. I mean, never. Like, I never just build with the base game. So I am concerned that I'm not going to be able to make it look good. Let's look at the couches that we have, all right? These are the base game couches. How many swatches do we have of this? We have a pink one I would use. If I had my druthers, I think I would use the pink because, like, I like pink. The other thing I didn't think about is that this living room is small. It's not a big space, which is fine, again, if we're having, if we're doing, like, first apartment vibes. It wouldn't be a big 
living room, but I have to pick a couch that fits. Oh no, this is gonna, oh no. So we used this. It doesn't have a pink swatch that matches, so we would have to do the beige. And that doesn't even, we could do that. We could do this couch and this chair, I think, that actually isn't bad. Well, could be worse. <laughs> well, maybe I should just use the white couch. Oh my god. The white, oh, the white's not matching bothers me more. Okay, no, no, no. I'm gonna use, see, okay, sorry. I'm gonna use this couch swatch, I think, and then use this swatch on this because the pink, the little pink buttons, it's like less jarring than if I tried to use this. I think that matches better. And I'm sorry if that looks awful. Like I actually don't have a lot of choice here. And then, oh, I love that. That's my favorite swatch of this rug. This apartment is gonna end up being way too nice for anybody's first apartment. I know that those were the vibes I started out with, but no one's first apartment has a fireplace, but I do want a fireplace. So that's just what we're gonna have to work with here. I'm kind of surprised that the, I know it's a bedroom set kit, but I'm kind of surprised it didn't come with a co coffee table just to like match the dresser and the side tables and everything like it would look good, but that's fine. No, it's fine. What even, what even is a color scheme? It's pink and gold. I mean, our, po our color scheme is pink and gold, right? Ooh, I like that. Oh, maybe we should use the glass one then. Maybe we should just use this glass one. Is there a gold swatch? If there's not a gold, there's not a gold swatch of this glass coffee table? Why not? That seems silly. All right, well, fine, I'll use it anyways. We're back to it being, okay. We're back to it being a first apartment. She couldn't afford matching furniture, so we're back to it being a first apartment. <laughs> she couldn't find a nice glass coffee table with a gold base, so fine. I feel like I would just wanna use the pack end table, but maybe I'll like make it one smaller and put it right here. So the front door, okay. Uh, I feel like I need to make this area scooch it in a little bit. There's not much space to walk through here. The other thing I could do is make the bat the bathroom long way wide instead of long, and this could still fit a functioning kitchen. That might be better. I'll tuck ever I'll tuck everything closer to this way. This is making me all. This is making me like happy. I don't know where we want to put this. I don't know where to put the wall shelf, but we can put the statue on there maybe. I don't know. How else will we make this work? I feel like this looks fine there. Do we just have a shelf? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Do we just have a floating well sh wall shelf with just like a marble statue on it? Is that something that we do? Where do we even put that? It looks crazy. Like this looks like something that a crazy person would have in their house, but I don't know what else to do with it. <laughs> I don't know what else. I'll find something. Okay, hold on. We can find something else to put on there. Maybe like a plant. Yeah, that works. The walls are throwing me off. I'm just gonna paint everything white until we until we get there. Oh yeah, what flo- oh wait, I forgot. The walls and floors are like predetermined because what did it come with? Didn't it come with like a weird tile? Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is the other thing that's gonna make it not look like a first apartment because um, this is crazy rich people stuff. I don't even like really like this floor but I feel like I ought to use it. Maybe I can maybe I can get away with just using it in the kitchen and then the rest of it can be wood because I really don't like this floor very much. Although our, <laughs> our kitchen is like six squares, so that's silly, but I believe we can get away with that. My apartment has these gray linoleum floors that I kind of like. I wonder if we did gray floors, if that would, yeah, I kind of like that. Hmm. And then my bedroom though has carpet. There we go. Now that looks like an apartment. I actually kind of, it's working for, I don't know if it looks good, but it's working for me. Cause it's like, yeah, actually that's what an apart, that's, that's what an apartment looks like. I'm trying to pick which gray floor looks exactly like my weird linoleum. I'm like looking out my door right now. Like, hmm, what does my floor look like? Probably closest to this one, which I think is more expensive. It is. <laughs> That's okay. This isn't really a budget build. I just, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm crafting vibes is what I'm doing. We need a plant in here too. It's so weird building with just the base game. <laughs> what other decorations do we have to be putting places? Picture of pear, picture of apple, <laughs> books. Books is good. Ooh, scented candles. Yeah, that's nice. I love, oh, I forgot to light a candle while I recorded. Hold on. <laughs> that just reminded me I meant to light my candle and I didn't. Um, oh yeah, and then the coffee table. I didn't pick a color. I want I want everything to be white and pink, I think, which means this needs to be pink too. Oh, look how pretty everything is. See, <sighs> sorry, this is just making me really happy. I would like to get this light out here too. <laughs> this is also something that you would never find in a first apartment. We're not gonna worry about it. Maybe we can do some front door entryway stuff. We can get a welcome mat. Just wanna keep looking at clutter and seeing, oh. God, <laughs> when you have every single pack installed, th scrolling through clutter is like, my heart sinks as I scroll and scroll and scroll looking for like that one specific thing. And this is so much nicer. It's just like, 
It's just like five rows. Oh my God, I wish. There's too much stuff in this game. It stresses me out. Oh, let's put this pillow. How does that line up? That's actually perfect. Okay. <gasps> Oh, nice. Okay. That's exciting. That lines up perfect with the cow. I mean, I guess that makes sense. They would do that on, they would make it line up on purpose. Should we use two different ones? They're both white and gold. So I feel like it looks good. Yay. Oh my God. That is so fun. Okay. Let's put another plant by the front door. Is that something that people do? I don't know. I don't have plants because I can barely keep myself alive. So maybe I can put like a flamingo there or a Christmas tree. Hey, maybe I should put the mirror by the front door. Maybe she checks herself. She gets ready for the day. And then right before she leaves, she gives herself like a quick once over and then walks out the door. I'm gonna do fridge, stove. Oh gosh, this is everything we have in the base game. Okay, um, I'm picking nice stuff. I'm betraying, I'm betraying my, um, my first apartment inspiration and I'm giving her nice stuff because I just want it to look nice. <laughs> oh no, it's not quite big enough, is it? I was gonna do like a, one of these and then put the sink in this part so then she can have a like a cute little, sweet little breakfast bar so we don't have to fit a table, but it's a bit small. It's a bit of a tight fit. <sighs> See, this is where the window thing really is annoying because if I did want to bring it in, I can't bring it in because of this window. I can just bring everything in like a tad. It's like a touch because then you can squeeze in there pretty easy. Yeah, this is good. Now that is very first apartment. <laughs> a stupid tiny kitchen is very first apartment. I'll tuck this in there. Maybe a one of these two. Is there a gold swatch of this? No. Why isn't there a gold swatch of the paper towel dispenser? I have a gold paper towel dispenser and it's cute and it looks good. This game doesn't let you have anything that you want. I'll just the bathroom real quick and then we will do the bedroom no i'm gonna use the nice stuff i don't know why i'm using nice stuff but i just want to <laughs> a pedestal sink kind of sucks in an apartment but i don't really have room to give her like a nice big counter so that's what she's getting can i put this big pop <laughs> oh i forgot how big this was i was like "Ooh, can i put this pop art fighting above the sink but um no actually i can't i'll put this little lady standing behind the toilet there's not a pink one there's not a pink version of the lady sad okay and that's done let's do the bedroom okay now we have to we haven't picked any we put everything down but we haven't picked any swatches so outside we did pink and gold and white is that what we want to do inside too do you think or because we could go like full ham on the pink further than we've ever gone before let's just see what it looks like if we make everything as pink as possible oh and then this painting which i love Ooh, oh we should use this okay i forget how many swatches this has so we can use this in here and we could probably also have one like right here Ooh, yeah like right here that swatch Ooh, look <gasps> i love that i wonder oh wait should we make oh oh it doesn't fit i was like how fun would it be to just make this rug ginormous but it's like slightly too big it doesn't clip outside of the the apartment building though so we could just do it like this and pretend that it <laughs> that it abruptly stops right there i kind of want to do that so i might all right i think that the pink is too much so i might change i think i want to keep the curtains but i might change like the this stuff the lighting in here is weird too this chandelier is like emits kind of a weird light i feel like should i bring one of these in here that like look that like really changes the vibe. I'm trying to decide. Maybe pink and white. That's what we did out here. Maybe I want this one to be that. I'm changing things up out here, actually. If we make this stuff the white and pink, that looks good. I like that better. Maybe this stuff goes gold. Change my mind out here. Yeah. Okay, actually, I like that. I do. It's like really nice pink without being like too pink, without being like painful pink. So I was thinking we would put, we might put a mirror above. Oh, what about this one? With the little hard eyes. Love that. Okay. And then I want to put a desk here I think but only if like there we can find a good one that looks good man see this pack should have come with a desk too <sighs> the pastel pop kit came with the desk and that was a bat and that was um a bedroom kit maybe I should just use this blank white one if we get a pink desk chair man one from the freaking um high school years kit would probably be best but we don't have that installed why am I doing this again why aren't I just letting myself have whatever I want look at this look at this look at this base game desk chair do you want it in bright blue or bright pink do you want it in white oh sorry we don't have that color we don't have it in that color we only have it in bright pink or freaking bright green i'm being a big baby about it because i don't like any of my choices i'm just gonna do this and then i'm gonna get her Ooh, laptop then i can put this above it and it looks less weird and random i can also move this little statue and put it on here oh look at this thing whoa that's what the fuck why is that 
is so big. First of all, I didn't know that this was base game. I'm sure it came with a free update. Why is it humongous? Why is it so big? And I can't click on it to change the swatch. Okay. What is this? Whatever, I'm adding it. It's going because it looks modern and it fits the vibe. Oh, this is cool. I've never seen this. Does this match the vibe or does it not match the vibe? I like it, but I don't know if it looks like something you'd buy at TJ Maxx. It looks a little bit too much like real art. Is that a mean thing to say? I'm gonna use it. I think the bedroom looks good. I think that's the best I got. And that means that everything is probably good and that I'm probably done. I should paint the walls. Now for the walls, okay, what did we get with the pack? I don't know if I wanna use this. Maybe I'll use it in here. Maybe she got some of that wallpaper, that roll up wallpaper that you get from Target and that's what she put in, put in her bedroom. Cause I still like a little, what, a little bit wanna keep the vibe of like an apartment. And this would not, you would not have these walls in your in your cheap apartment. I don't even really like how it looks, but I've used every other object in the pack, so I feel like I should use it. It's just like not exactly the vibe that I feel like I've honed here. And now I just want white walls. Yeah, that's exactly it. Those are the walls that you get in your apartment. Sorry, never mind. <laughs> I like the way that this looks better in this room. I just like the way it looks better. It makes more sense to me. I'm sorry. I almost did a perfect job and then I, I couldn't help myself. If I had my druthers, I'd probably like make the kitchen the gray floor too, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the six panels of the modern luxe floor. But um, oh yeah, I haven't done the bathroom floor either yet. Should I do that the same? In my apartment, the, I have two bedrooms and then the two bedrooms and the living room are carpet and then the bathroom, the kitchen and the hallway are all that this, they look exactly like this, this gray like linoleum floor. And I, I don't know, I think it's really funny. I like it, it looks better than the tile I had in my last apartment, but it's just kind of funny. Yeah, let's put that in the bathroom too, that works. Now this is an apartment. I like it, I like, I mean, how, mu how much is it worth? Cause I bet it's like um, way too expensive to be somebody's first apartment. It's 23, actually that's not bad. It's 23,000, that's not bad. That is like a starter home with two people. So you'd have to give yourself like a, a couple extra thousand, but it's fun. I think this is a fun little starter apartment for your cute little, your cute little girly sim starting out in the city. Also, I said I was gonna play test it and I just don't feel like play testing it. So my apologies if it doesn't work, if you download this and it doesn't work, but you know how to move stuff around. Okay, I'm saving it as a room. I'm gonna call it Modern Lux Apartment. If you wanna download it, my gallery ID is the Simulate Kate, and I'm gonna put it on my gallery. Say share room to gallery. There we go. And that's it. That's the whole video. I did it. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you liked that video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you like Sims content, stick around because that's the kind of stuff I do on my channel. And I hope you all have a beautiful day. I love you. And real quick, I had a very nice time um, recording this video and I've been having a really hard time having a nice time doing anything. So if you liked it, I'm really glad you did. And thank you for sticking around. And that's all. See you later. Goodbye.